and continuing with Donald Trump. So I thought this one was kind of comical. And, <laughs> and it's probably going to spell bad news for the next four years. Chinese state media threatens Donald Trump with big sticks if he pushes for a trade war. China is not taking any shit off of Donald Trump, apparently. All right. China's state-run tabloid, The Global Times, on Thursday warned President-elect Donald Trump that his angry tweets targeting the country over trade had given Beijing officials plenty of time to prepare. There are flowers around the gate of China's Ministry of Commerce, but there are also big sticks hidden inside the door. Both the weight Americans, the paper said. I love that! That is political portrait. There are big sticks in this door waiting for you if you try to fuck up. Yeah, this is interesting, and I don't quite know, um, I don't know how this turns out, I gotta be honest. I mean, of course I don't know how it turns out. But I'm saying the is he ballsy enough to put a tariff on something um, for China? Like, is, is, is he ballsy enough to do that? I don't know, maybe. I mean, he seems to be <laughs> pissed off at China pretty heavily, um, with the very least the people who are backing him are. And to their credit, I these trade deals have not done us well. I mean, ultimately, so think of it this way. And Democrats did this, so I agree with conservatives on this point. It essentially funnels money to the top. So you're a corporation. You're hiring an American worker, let's say, at 14 bucks an hour because he's doing a factory job. Your CEO says, huh, a trade deal was just passed. So now I can take that trade deal and I can ship this job to China or to Mexico or to some other country. And I can pay that worker $3 an hour where I was paying the other guy $14 an hour. And I can re-import that stuff back into the United States for free. Because they just passed a trade deal. So there are no tariffs or anything else that needs to be dealt with. I've just made, what, nine bucks profit. And just by doing that, and look, the, the interesting outcome, which is kind of foreseeable, is, well, if I have an incentive to get rid of a job, I'm going to get rid of a job. My goal is to make as much profit as possible. If I have a financial motive to eliminate your position... I'm going to eliminate your position. In many respects, it's why Hillary lost Michigan, Wisconsin, like those rust better areas, Ohio. Her president, I mean, her husband signed NAFTA. I mean, so, I, and she's a free trade wielder herself. I mean, even with Obama, she was for the TPP. And even in the Podesta reports, she was still willing or was trying to figure out a way to get back to it. So, I, I'm, has, oh man, yeah, that's a tough one. I, I'm reserved judgment for that. that that's, uh, whatever happens, see what happens. I have no clue. I mean, Donald Trump is ballsy enough to try it, maybe. Um, but you never know. I mean, he lies so fluidly. I, and when I mean fluidly, I don't mean well. I just mean he just kind of goes from one lie to the next. So. This story annoyed the shit out of me, and it really pissed me off. 